Hey there, welcome back to my channel. So today I have the Kim Kardashian contour kit in deep dark because I'm deep dark, duh. It was $48 and I don't remember how much shipping was, just kidding, it was like $8.95. So in total, I spent like $56 on this. It came with a beautiful package. I tore into it, so I don't even remember where the packaging is, but I still have the card that comes with it. And the kit comes with a brush that is dual ended. It's um, like a soft bristled brush on this side and a sponge on this side. The size is definitely very travel friendly. I like the packaging. I like that it's got that neutral shade kind of nude look going on, which is so Kim's signature. So I wouldn't have expected anything different. I like how fast it came because I totally ordered it before it got sold out and lo and behold, it, it came like less than a week later all the way from California. I'm going to show you how much product is in this kit. I'm going to zoom in and I am not in any way altering this image. I'm rolling, 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 rolling. Rolling, 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 and uh, oh, once again, that's it. Next to my pinky. Hello. Hello, world. Um, $48 plus $8.95 shipping. I don't know if that's the This is how the deep dark swatches on me. And by the way, I have um, swatches on Instagram if you want to take a look. There are four colors that you get with this kit. The highlighter has two sides. A matte highlighter, which is a, acts as a concealer, which is the one right there, and a shimmering one, which is the one at the bottom. This right here is the dark color on one end of the contour kit, and this is the deepest dark color on the other end of the contour kit. Now, as you can see, the deepest, darkest shade is lighter than the back of my arm. I'm gonna let that settle for a second. It kind of feels like another strikeout for dark skin beauties everywhere again. If you watched some of my old videos, you'll see that I used to contour with eyeliner because, with a cream eyeliner, don't not too crazy or anything, because I just wanted to get that cut definition that, um, regular highlighting and contour kits were not giving me. I'm currently wearing my Lancome Tonti Doll foundation, which is a little lighter than my skin tone. And I'm hoping that well, now that I'm going to try this on my skin, maybe it will show a lot better um, since I'm wearing a lighter tone than the back of my hand. All right, I think it is. Oh yeah, totally, it should. Well, let's go. This is what Kim says with the matte highlight. Apply it to areas you wish to add natural highlight and glow without adding any shimmer. Your chin, forehead, nose, under your eye, contour on the cheeks, blah, 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 blah. Finish by blending the highlight with your sponge. I'm going to start with my under eye. Ooh. You know, all I've done is swatch these. I haven't actually used them on my face, so this is going to be weird. I'm going to make a triangle shape. How about that? Let's do one side and then I'll compare with the other side. Okay, let's do it with my nose. I'm gonna use a light amount of product because I don't like, this is really bright and peachy, you know? I don't want to look crazy. This, the whole forehead area, this half of my chin, the brow bone. I'm gonna dab lightly for the brow bone because I don't want to look too crazy. Just lightly blend it in. I usually like to wet my sponge before I um, blend in any product, but I feel like, should I wet this? So I'm not going to smear the product because that would be a waste of product. I'm just kind of dabbing it in, like I'm just going doop, 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 and then occasionally kind of giving it a little drag, doop, 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 drag. Not really liking how white and powdery it looks under my eye. So the highlight has now been blended on my skin. 
Real talk, I feel like I look a little ghosty or something right now. Now I'm going to try the shimmering highlight part. Kim says, apply the shimmer highlight to cheekbones, brow bones, cupid's bow, tip of nose, inner corner of eyes, and any other areas where you want a subtle shimmer. And also you can use it on your collarbone and shoulders for an all over glow. Tip of my nose, cause that's all I remember from all those words I read. Doop doop. Mm. Kind of like a little bit, cause I don't wanna like, you know, slay too much. Any other areas I wanna add a subtle shimmer? Um, right here, girl. And I don't want it to be that subtle, you know what I'm saying, over here. So now I'm going to blend out this part. Do I use the sponge for this? I kind of just want to use my actual finger. Here we go. I'll use my finger, I guess, to blend this out. Okay, not really showing the way I wanted it to on this part. My nose, it's okay, but let me try again. I shouldn't fear the product. I am the human. The product should fear me. Now I'm going to contour. This is going to be fun. I'm going to use the lighter contour on my nose. Just kidding, this looks just like my concealer. That's not going to contour. Okay, we will skip that. We'll rub that off. We'll kind of blend that in. Let me instead use the deeper, darker contour side and see if that helps. Okay, it's kind of subtle. Oh, I'm supposed to use the brush, aren't I? Eh, I'm gonna use my fingers just for this. And apply some right under that and pretend my nose has been professionally contoured. Now I'm going to contour my face. Oh, and by the way, try not to bring it all the way out because I've totally seen some beauty bloggers break theirs. Um, I think it's best to keep it this way, to keep it as low to the ground as possible. I'll do wherever the baby hairs are not. Oh, I feel like I used like the whole thing or maybe my product was a little warm from the hot day, I don't know. I, it's not, doesn't have that cute look anymore. That shape it had, it kind of had like, it kind of came almost like a crayon shape to a point at the top. Maybe I should put these in the fridge or something. Now I'm going to use the bristle brush side and blend in the contour. I usually like to put a little highlighter under where I've contoured just so that it looks a lot more clean. I'm going to do that. I look like there's something random on my face under my highlight. Maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe I'll put the other contour color because the other contour color is like a regular concealer color for me. I think I came too far with my contour. Okay, so here it is and I'm all done. Let me sit this way so you can see. I feel like I look like a sloppy ice cream cone. You know what? The packaging's cute. The idea behind it is cute, but for dark skinned girls who are my skin tone or even darker, I would give this a C. It's honestly not that great. I was really bummed when I first filmed that video, but as you can see, I'm in a better mood now. Currently, I am wearing a look that I created using the contour sticks 
after the fact. And I cannot wait for you to see how I created this look. Um, it's just kind of simple, but I mean, I'm not gonna say too much about it. Just watch my next video and you can see how I made this contour kit work for me. Thanks for watching. Thank you.